beautiful Friday afternoon here downtown Tampa with the members of the Florida Powerboat Club for the 8th Annual Tampa Bay Poker Run. You know, we've done this event for eight years in a row, but never out of downtown Tampa, always out of downtown St. Petersburg. And uh, it was kind of a hard move to get away from the Benoit, but here we are in beautiful Tampa. And right over my shoulder, uh, we've got Jackson's Bistro, as well as American Social, and one of our headquarter hotels, the Westin waterside tampa and between those three as well as the marriott we have got a great venue here plus dockage at the tampa convention center we thought we would get more dockage across the way but that didn't work out but it turns out that the tampa convention center people really love boats they gave us all their docks we were able to situate the entire poker run here as well as the marriott altogether 42 boats registered so we're seeing strong numbers on this event so today is just really the kickoff day for what is about to become a great three-day tradition here in Tampa. Tomorrow, the big poker run, about 100 plus miles all together uh, throughout the Tampa Bay area, uh, gathering up poker cards for the big party, which will happen tomorrow night at American Social. So here we are at Tampa, 2018 edition of the Tampa Bay Poker Run with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Well, guys, if you need a ride on a boat, I suggest the best way you do it is get Arion and Kiana to team up with you on the dock. Uh, and have them put on a little show, and um, sooner or later a boat is going to pull up and we're going to get a ride. <laughs> exactly what happened here. Uh, I think that was the plan in my mind anyway. But uh, Josh Kirkland and his crew on board this uh, beautiful 42-foot cigarette, Dirty Duck, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. And away we go. Yeah, it worked, girls. It worked. We got our ride. <laughs> Heading uh, across Tampa Bay now. Um, the goal here is to go out and have a nice lunch run with the rest of the boats. Well... We let all the rest of the boats go ahead of us, and uh, we kind of were the tail gunner here. That story of my life. I uh, used to be in the pace boat, now I'm in the chase boat. But you can see the temperatures actually got pretty cool. We started the day out in bikinis. Well, I actually didn't have a bikini on, but we started the day out in our swimwear, and we ended up in our winter wear, because it was pretty chilly out on the waterways on this Friday afternoon in March. And, well, let's face it, it is winter time, but uh, could be worse. We could be uh, up in uh, Michigan or upstate New York where it's really, really cold. But as soon as we got into the protected waters of the Manatee River in Bradenton, it got a little warmer and the layers came off, the bikinis came out, and life was good again. And the only way we can improve on that is with a great lunch, and that's exactly what we did here at the Blue Mangrove. Uh, it's a really cool restaurant uh, with an excellent menu and a very attentive, friendly staff. And it's located here at the Riviera Dunes Marina in Bradenton. And it's a little bit off the beaten path. It's a huge place, but if you don't look for it, you probably won't find it. Uh, you've got to go right up the river, passing a few other restaurants, and then when you do find it, it's worth the effort. Uh, really happy with the outcome here. We got our wires crossed on the planning dates. The restaurant had one date, the marina had a different date, but uh, nonetheless, we got things cleared up and uh, everyone ended up having a wonderful visit. So I would highly recommend this to anyone uh, that comes to the Bradenton area. Just make sure that you call the dock master and let them know you're coming. And then after you do that, do it again. Call them back just to make sure because that's probably what I needed to do. And uh, nonetheless, we got through it. And anybody who has been here before would agree. What a cool spot. It's kind of got sort of a... Tuscany kind of a European kind of feeling to it uh, the outdoor patio is fabulous on a nice day and that's exactly what we had was a nice day you know it started out kind of cool but once the winds died down and uh, we were sitting here on the back patio checking out the boats it was into well into the 70s and the blue sky and that beautiful March air uh, was just fantastic look at the lineup of boats uh, we've got big cats big V's and this new Midnight Express 43, David Landsman's boat called My Way. It's got five Mercury Racing Murado 400Rs. I like the twin bolsters. I like the open cockpit, lots of seating. This is the ultimate poker run play toy. Let me tell you, David and his crew often get up to 15, 18, sometimes 20 or more people. And guess what? They've all got a place to stand or sit on this boat. And I think it's perfect for a guy like David. And there's a lot of guys out there in the club like David who like to have a good time. They like to bling up the boat. Midnight Express has done a wonderful job of delivering exactly what he was looking for. Just look at the JL Audio uh, torpedoes, those, uh, those bullets. So he's got, I think, probably at least 20 or 25 speakers on the boat, maybe more. Look at these boats. Uh, there's Bill Munyon's skater. Uh, a lot of cats, a lot of Vs. A lot of these new outboard 
uh, cats as well. There's the Polini Marine, the new 35 with uh, twin Mercury Verado 400Rs. Bob Christie has his new 34 with the same power package. And Mark Monroe has his brand new 36 Wright Performance here. We told you about all the custom features on this David Landsman's uh, 43 Midnight Express. One of those custom features was the shower, and the girls were anxious to show everybody just how much they like having a shower. Okay, actually, they didn't have anything to do with it. I asked them to do that for some video. But my intentions were honorable. I was trying to show the full features of the Midnight Express 43 Open, which we apparently are doing quite well, um, not to mention getting some spectacular video coverage uh, for our Instagram page. And indeed, Ariane did mention she wanted to work out today. She was upset she couldn't get to the gym, so we gave her that opportunity as well. All in good fun, lovely ladies on all of our Florida Powerboat Club runs, and Ariane and Kiana, they really rose to the occasion. It was Ariane's return from a previous event, and it was Kiana's first event. Thank you, ladies, for putting on a great show and being good sports about everything. Well, that was a fun lunch, and the party continued back on Dirty Duck, Josh Kirkland's 42 cigarette. And Josh asked me kindly if I wouldn't mind driving back uh, because he wanted to hang out with his friends from Atlanta and, of course, Ariane and Kiana and his lovely girlfriend and all his buddies. These guys were having a blast, and I had a front row seat to all of this because here I am at the helm uh, driving this beautiful cigarette and watching everybody have so much fun. And I think that's what made me get into this sport or into this industry in the first place, was just being around fun-loving people. And you won't find a better bunch than Josh and his gang because they're just all about the fun. They're there to have a good time. There's, there's no drama. There's no attitudes. There's only jackets to put on when it gets cold again. <laughs> and who'd have thought the guy from Canada would need to put on his jacket? But... Uh, uh, looks like we're making our way back in now to Davis Island and uh, reaching the downtown Tampa area. And just look at the day. Look at how incredible it is. Look at those blue skies. We didn't see a single cloud. And look at Josh. He's just having a riot. Uh, what a fun guy to hang out with. You know, last summer, we were up at the Pirates of Lanier poker run, and Josh invited me on the Dirty Duck for an afternoon uh, riding around on Lanier for the poker run. We had a lot of fun, and then the next day, we all jumped on Brad Hancock's houseboat uh, and went over to the Party Cove. So uh, no better group to hang out with. Look at them. They got their face masks on now. I don't know what you call these things. I've seen them before, but obviously they're face shields to keep uh, the weather and the sun out of your face. But, you know, if you're going to do that, you got to get one for everybody. <laughs> So thanks to Josh and his crew for a fun afternoon on the water for the Friday fun run. And as we now arrive into Tampa Harbor, there's uh, the red building on the right is the brand new American Social. Looking straight ahead, there's the Tampa Convention Center where we've got uh, floating docks for most of our fleet. And we have about another 15 or 18 boats tied up at the floating docks at the Marriott, which may be just off to the right here. There it is, straight ahead. That big building is the Marriott. It's a 717-room resort, uh, a great headquarter hotel for us in addition to the Weston Hotel. There's Lady Lisa. She's docked right in front of American Social. Now, here's a reverse angle. So you see the Weston in the background, American Social, and then Jackson's Bistro right here. Um, those three properties in conjunction with the Convention Center, then the Marriott just on the other side of the bridge, all of these facilities all walking distance to one another so this is what really made this uh, what a great combination for this new event uh, docking the boat here at the marriott it was my first time using a joystick i know you i know i know a seven-year-old could do it but I, I couldn't do it so josh had to rescue me i've never used a joystick before i'm old school but uh, he came to my rescue and i'm still pleading that uh, the bikinis were a distraction there's Mark Monroe's boat and Bob Christie's boat. And now we're over here at the convention center dock. So no matter how you slice it, you're on a floating dock facility uh, with great management. And the rates were good. I think we paid 
uh, about $3 a foot, which is pretty much the standard across the board for these uh, kinds of facilities. And I'm very happy with the outcome. I hope you guys are too, and we need to get your feedback. This restaurant is right at the convention center on the waterfront called The Sale. And I'm glad that we got these video clips uh, brought to you because we had fun. Most people had a drink here. Some people had lunch here. It was open every day and every night till midnight and on the weekends, Friday and Saturday until 2 a.m. They had fantastic service. The food was awesome. The drinks were very well priced. And it's an open air place uh, overlooking the water. And it was a home run. I'm really happy that uh, this is here. And it's right at the center of our venue. So uh, if any of you didn't get down here, you really ought to make the effort next time because this is a fun place to hang out. We were able to park our sponsor, Sport Chassis. TD Wall brought this Sport Chassis to the event to show it off. And it was beautiful. And this was TD Wall's second event in a row. They had just done the February Miami Boat Show Poker Run. They brought a red one to the Poker Run Village at Duffy's. They sold that to somebody in the club. So they brought this white one. And within, I think, 24 hours, they already had a deal cooking on it. And they had the deal done by the end of the weekend. And I guess I can say who bought it. It's Johnny O bought it to haul his 48 MPI. Um, and not a bad hauler if you look at it. A lot of luxury, a lot of power. And it is bling to the nines. I mean, these trucks come so well equipped. This one here is done up pretty nicely. Quite an incredible sound system. Uh, you can see the boxes in the back here, the four on each side. So uh, it's not all about pulling the boat. Sometimes it's all about just showing off. And this truck is equipped to do both in style. Just a couple of hours later, we were all meeting uh, for our first formal activity, and that is the Poker Run check-in. There's our uh, office manager, Tracy, and she's working now with our two lovely assistants, Ariane and Kiana. Uh, Ariane back for her second run with the club, and Kiana on her very first one. And this is a big part of the event. And, you know, the reason we put these in the video is to show you the structure that we have with these Florida Powerboat Club events. So any of you viewers out there that haven't seen this before, if you pay attention, you'll see that everything is all very calculated. We don't just get together over drinks and, you know, and throw you a bag of goodies and say, go have fun. Uh-uh. We have a check-in list. The girls are checking you in to make sure we have the proper head count, to make sure we have the proper passes for all of your lunch tickets and dinner tickets, for your T-shirts and the correct sizes of T-shirts for all of your crew. We give you the safety waivers. We give you the decals for your boat. Remember, we have different speed classes. You guys want to run 50 miles an hour. Some of you want to run 150 miles an hour. We can't have you running together. So we break you down by speed class, and there are three different classes. Then we get you into a room like this, and you see all the captains and first mates. We don't allow the entire poker run to come into the room. We just want the captains and their co-drivers there uh, because it's important business. And you're going to see a lot of real somber, straight faces there. Well, this is not, you know, this isn't a party. I'm sorry. We're here to talk about the serious business of doing the poker runs. And we also take the opportunity to introduce our sponsors and, of course, our newcomers to the club. And my big joke is that whenever all the newcomers stand up in the room, I tell all the other guys, hey, look out for these guys. They're newcomers. Don't let them get near you. And it was nice to see Amelia and Christina back, uh, the two models who had joined us uh, on the April Fort Myers event in 2017, a year earlier. And they were back riding uh, with Glenn Kennedy on his outer limits for the poker run. So we really go over all of the important activities, uh, guide safety guidelines, and of course the poker run course details. You know, every poker run's different, every course is different. So that's why we have the captain's meeting so we can share those important details with everybody. So thanks to you guys uh, for taking time to be there and be present for this all important meeting. From here on, I can guarantee you it's all fun uh, because from here we're heading to Jackson's Bistro for a kickoff party where we're gonna have a wonderful evening with great food, great fun, and get ready for the Saturday event. All right, and this is your first poker card assignment with the Florida Powerboat yes. Club, and it won't be your last. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Happy Poker Run! All right, good, yeah. good job, good job. Looking great, girls, looking great. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I got it. Okay, say hi for me. You're on camera. 
It was your lucky bag. Sorry we don't have any lady sizes. We ran out. Okay. All right. All right, Billy. Thank you, sir. Well, gang, I don't know about you, but this is a great way to start a Saturday morning in March. And doing the poker card checkpoint here at the docks in downtown Tampa, right across from the American Social, this was probably one of the best poker card checkpoints you could ask for. Look at how beautiful the weather is. And we had these lovely ladies, Stephanie and Ashley, who volunteered their time to be our new poker card girls. And they're uh, riding on the team Bodacious too. So Bodacious too just sat off to the side and let the girls do the cards while the other two girls are actually on support boats and they're getting in position at our next uh, checkpoints, uh, checkpoint two and three, so they can hand out the cards. And meanwhile, our photo and video crew is getting staged in the helicopter so that when we do finally get out into the open water, uh, it's gonna be fast and furious as the chopper catches up with everybody. And if you want to talk about spirited crews, check out Danny Merrill and his gig on Bill Waters Spectre. You're <laughs> Danny, you're the man. <laughs> Thank you for the entertainment here. And how about a little father and son weekend? Uh, Dara Ceriza and his son on their 38 Donzi ZR Comp. And here's one of our local teams, Greg Tolson, who's done this event a number of times in his 32-foot Sensation. Oh, you're one, you're one person away from being a stick boat. <laughs> and a very special welcome to Joe Grady from New Jersey. Uh, striker 3 is the 39 Outer Limits. His first poker run with Florida Powerball Club. So let's welcome Joe and his crew. You got it, you got it. And another newcomer and another father and son team for the weekend, Craig Ackerman from Georgia. They're riding in uh, Craig's 292 formula called Team Alter Ego. And let's welcome back longtime member Chris Ryder from New York with his 36 foot skater. He loves going fast, so that's exactly why the Tampa Bay Poker Run is perfectly suited for him. Good job, Chris. Good job. Always another spirited team. Uh, Chris Stevenson and his ladies, uh, Melisa and her friends on board, they're back for their second year. Good morning, Cash. They didn't make it, huh? Their fault. Well, I know where I can get a ride if I need one. Well, everyone knows Cass Schubert by now because he's all over social media. He's a madman on Facebook. But uh, Liquid Prozac, a fixture on these Florida Powerball Club events, he's done so many of them. How's Team Nortec doing? I'd like to welcome back Chris and Kimberly Erickson, uh, the Nortec dealer from Sarasota, and they brought Dad along, uh, Bill Erickson, uh, who's driving this 390 Sport today. There's always a first time, Roddy. I know. It happens. And that's the winning part. And that's my boat I'm riding on right there. <laughs> All right, and very special welcome to John and Kathy Popowitz from Florida and their 38 foot scarab. Story to tell you, we're going to tell you a little later, but uh, worth telling and very happy they could make it on their first Tampa Bay Poker. Yeah, I know, that's always an hour. Story of my life, story of my life, right? We should have gave that pole a Viagra shot this morning. I got it. I'll get it. Okay. Well, I climbed on the skater with Ron Zolak and got a chance to catch our last team getting their cards. This is Team Bodacious 2, Neil and Cindy Campbell. And, of course, our lovely card girls are now on board. And it's going to be fast and furious today as these front runners get up and running 
way ahead of the pack out into the Tampa Bay area. You can see the conditions are absolutely incredible today. And let's waste no time introducing our teams. This is Tom and Andrea Anselmi from New Jersey. Uh, veterans on this event. They love coming here to the Tampa Bay event. Running their 2003 38-foot Donzi ZR competition. 700 horsepower Ron Potter motors. And they completely redid the boat for 2018. So they're basically, as far as they're concerned, they're in a new boat. <laughs> and they had this boat laid out for almost a year. So this is really, really an exciting weekend for them getting back out on the waterways in the Tampa Bay area. They said something nice in their video bio. They said FPC always puts on a great run. Well, thanks for the kind words, Tom, and we hope to see you guys back on the next one. Just listening to the roar of that Mercury Racing Powers up here at 850 SCI's. Uh, Bill Munyon, one of our local guys here in this 368 skater team aftermath. Uh, he's been doing this event for a number of years, and he loves going fast. And look at these great conditions for letting this skater air out. And let's say hi to Glenn Kennedy. Came a long way to be here all the way from Wisconsin with this 43 SV Outer Limits uh, Big Teague Power called Caliente Performance. A very, very fast V-bottom, and that's why he's up here with the front runners running with these cats. He's got a sponsor on board, Tom Wall, the uh, sport chassis sponsor, and some precious cargo. Those two lovely sisters, Amelia and Christina, who were the poker card girls for us at the Fort Myers event last year. And another chance to get a great close-up of this brand new Wright Performance 36 Cat to Mark and Susan Monroe from New Jersey. It's their second poker run now with this boat. They've done two in a row. Took delivery at the Miami Boat Show just a month earlier. And look at this crew. They are having a blast with this beautiful 36 Cat. It's got a huge cockpit, if you can see. A pair of Mercury Racing Verado 400Rs. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. If you want to go fast, if you want to look sharp, and you want to have zero maintenance issues, this is the answer to that equation. And let's welcome back another veteran on this event, Tom Beagle, all the way from Michigan. 36-foot sensation dominator called Bar None. He's been here a bunch of times. He's got 575s, but I know they're pumped up. And he's on a poker run streak with the Miami run, Tampa, and Fort Myers, three in a row. And while we're on the subject of good attendance, they attended Key West and they did Winter Miami. They're here in Tampa, and I know they're coming back for the next two. Noel and Gretchen Speranza are blowing it out of the park with this brand new 44 concept powered by four Mercury Racing 400 Arvarados. It replaced their Fountain uh, 42 that broke down a lot. They have not had any breakdowns. They've had nothing but fun with this boat, and they're loving it. And another uh, crew that's having fun with their new boat, this is Daniel Munyon. He teamed up with his dad, Ralph, to buy this 34 Polini Marine, the brand new 34 Cat. It's got a 10-foot beam, uh, twin Mercury Racing 400 Arvarados. I don't think that Pops made it on this trip, but Daniel's here, and he's telling me that this new 34 has been an incredible ride. In fact, we decided that since it was the first one we've seen, and you know, I've got a lot of respect for Jay Polini and his group, They've worked hard to build the brand, and uh, he's been very dedicated to our sport over the years. So this is his newest, latest toy, and it's hole number one, and it made it on the Tampa run. So that was worthy of getting the best Catamaran Award. So you won it fair and square, Jay. Uh, thanks for being such a great supporter of the club and our sport. Let's welcome back Bob and Madeline Christie, uh, but this time in their new boat, a 34-foot MTI with Mercury Racing 400R Verados. A big change for them. They've always had V-bottoms, and I've lost track of how many boats they've had over the years, but they've been fantastic supporters of the Florida Powerboat Club, and they love the Tampa Bay Poker Run. Well, I'll tell you what, they're going to love it even more because these conditions today for this 34 MTI are absolutely superb, and I know that they're having a blast out there. They're going to run this boat all day long and burn about 100 gallons of fuel. So now you can understand why there's such a big shift to this style of cat and why we've got four different manufacturers with four different similar style boats here on this one run alone. And for their second event in a row, uh, John and Bryn Wax from the Tampa Bay area here, this 36-foot Gladiator. you got to love this paint job. This is a classic cigarette. Not very many of these were made, and I know that the guys who have them love them. And I do want to report, sadly, that later in the day, John did have a little bit of an engine problem uh, as a result of running the boat hard. But he got the boat back to Innovation Marine right after the poker run. And they rebuilt the motor that he had problems with. He said that they did a fantastic job. He's very happy with the outcome. 
Um, but so he's up and running and has already registered for the Emerald Coast Poker Run. So he's pumped and ready. And we already have more than a dozen cigarettes registered for that Emerald Coast event. So if you're a cigarette guy, this is where you want to go. It's going to be a mini cigarette rendezvous there on the Emerald Coast. Anybody who follows the Poker Run circuit would probably be familiar with the name Mark D. Michelle. He's actually from Michigan, but he does spend a lot of time boating in Florida. And this is his latest toy, this 44-foot Mystic with Mercury Racing QC4 1100s, which is the perfect package for this boat. Uh, she'll run all day long at 110, 120 miles an hour. But just look at this shot. Look at how beautiful the lines on this 44 Mystic are. It's got a huge cockpit. It's got that John Cosker patented bottom. And we're just happy to see incredible cats like this still hanging in the poker run circuit. And carrying through on that thought, another incredible catamaran. This one, Nortec High Performance, 52-foot Roadster. And a gentleman who's been in the club for several years. It's about his fourth or fifth boat with uh, the club since he's been a member. But this is the top of the food chain for the Nortec world. Uh, 52 cat with Mercury Racing 1350s, which somehow became 1550s recently. Owner Don Lightfoot uh, told me he wanted to keep going faster. He loves the boat. And the only way you can uh, keep a boat like this is keep it running with big power. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, but look at, you know, talk about a big boat. Look at the size of the cockpit. I've been in this boat on a poker run before, and it actually has seating for about 11 or 12 people. And they don't have the boat full today, but they certainly did bring a lot of friends from Texas. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's almost all 10 of them there. Oh, you can see Don just saw the helicopter and said, all right, guys, time to put on a show. I am out of here. And let's say hi to another team that loves coming to the Tampa Bay Poker Run. This is Richard Girth and his crew from Ontario, Canada. An Outer Limits 42 Legacy with Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. I believe the boat used to have bigger power, but uh, more recently he repowered the boat and says that it just runs fantastic with these 700s. Take a close look at the graphics and the colors of this boat. They just gleam in the hot sun, and I think it's one of the prettiest Outer Limits. Uh, and the 42 Legacy has always been one of my favorite models. You know what I like about it is the tall sides. It's got a lot of freeboard, which gives it a deep cockpit, and you really feel safe when you're in the boat going fast. And another skater on the run, and Chris and Quinn Lamort keep coming back to this event because they love this water, and it's perfect for these skaters. Now this one looks a little different than some of the others. This is an older model, classic, pretty sick skater made in 2000. Uh, but it's a design that has really stood the test of time. You still see a lot of these older 36s around. A lot of them raced and uh, were converted to pleasure boats. But this is a 36 that has been in the club for a very long time. I believe that it has 700 SCIs. That's what the bio reports here on our club database. But I think that they're bigger than that. I think he's got about 1,000 horsepower aside, if I recall. And this boat is one fast 36 scale. And while we're talking about Roar, listen to this 38 foot ZR comp, Dara Ceriza. He's got a lot of power in this 38 ZRC. Just listen to these engines. And the last time I checked, he was running about 850 horsepower. Uh, but I think that since then, he's gone back and he's got him pumped up even more. He loves going fast. Trust me, if he could be right on the stops, that's what he'd be doing all day long. But he's got his son on board. I believe he's about 14 years old, so I don't think Dad wants to take it to the limits today. But a high five to Darius, uh, who lives in Boca Raton, for having such a great uh, track record. Did the Key West Poker Run last November. Did the Winter Run January, the Miami Run February. Here he is on the Tampa Run in March. And, you know, if he could do them all, I'm sure he would. So thanks, Darius, uh, for your loyalty and for being such a great new member in the club. Now here's a team that's having a lot of fun in this 30 Spectre, uh, a boat that's been around the club for a very long time went through different owners. But it's currently owned by Bill Waters, one of our local guys. And he's joined by Danny Merrill uh, from Georgia, who's actually the registered member for the event because Danny had another boat, an MTI, and he sold it, I believe, just a few days before the run. Uh, so he got Billy and uh, said, hey, let's go on a poker run. I'm already paid up. So <laughs> it worked out great. And uh, thanks, Bill, for helping out your buddy, Danny. And we're now finally catching up with the front runners. Uh, I'm not sure who this is yet, but let's take a closer look. And indeed, this is uh, George Ariano in his 36-foot Sensation, powered by Mercury Racing 540s. 
And George brought this uh, boat to the event last year, but he decided to run uh, instead a 30-foot Phantom. So when you've got as many boats as George, it's sometimes good to bring both of them to the event, depending on what the conditions are. But clearly, the conditions are ideal for this 36 Sensation, which I enjoy driving just a couple of poker runs back in the winter run down in the Florida Keys. And the boats have stopped, and they're just going to be milling around now for a little bit. This is part of our program, and that was to gather everybody up for a nice ride through the Tampa Bay Skyway. But uh, a good sign-off point as we join Warren Curry on this Icon aircraft, uh, A5. It's a new style amphibious aircraft, and they have been a sponsor of this event. They wanted everybody to see this very cool aircraft that can land in the water. It's a two-seater with a 100-horsepower Rotax engine. Excellent fuel economy, but a great toy to bring along on the poker run. And he's actually a registered team for the Tampa Bay Poker Run. You're only going to see this kind of stuff in one place, and that's with the Florida Powerboat Club here on our full coverage of our Powerboating in Paradise events featuring members of the Florida Powerboat Club. On our next episode, we have plenty more boats to introduce you to and a lot of high-speed action here from the Tampa Bay Poker Run 2018. This is going to be part two of a three-part series, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to the Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel so every time a new episode comes out, you'll get the notification and you won't waste any time watching this episode, checking out all the cool boats, all the beautiful ladies in bikinis, and most of all, fun in the sun with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook at FL Powerboat. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Florida Powerboat Club. And for you Instagram buffs, we've got four pages. You can follow us there. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.